Parents in Lake County say it's a crisis that needs to be addressed right now. They say students committing suicide and attempting to kill themselves has become a major problem. Just this morning, a student attempted suicide at Lake Mineola High School. Channel 9's Angela Jacobs spoke to one parent that's part of a new task force hoping to keep students alive literally. And Angela, they told you today's incident shows they can't work fast enough to get ahead of this problem. George, this parent helped create the meeting that sat, that is where the task force came from. And this was just last week. She says that today's sad incident just reinforces how urgent, even dire the need is for action here in South Lake County. The call went out to parents this morning with news of another near tragedy involving a student in South Lake County. A Lake Mineola High School student came onto the school campus after hours last night and attempted to harm himself. The sheriff's office is investigating and continuing to gather details. The sheriff's office told us it was just after midnight when a student's father called 911 to report his son was called by another student from inside the school office. The student said he had taken more than 100 pills. Deputies discovered the student semi-conscious in an upstairs classroom. They also found numerous bottles of pills opened and scattered in the nurse's office. The male student survived and is being treated at a nearby hospital. It just turns your stomach upside down. It's just really, really hard. Last month, Renee Lowe co-founded the group We Are Listening. We told you last week when it organized a meeting of local leaders to assess area resources after five teen suicides across the county. One of them, a tragedy right in front of the high school. Within days, a new task force formed by the city, school district, and Lifestream Behavioral Center was underway. Its first event is Monday in an open community meeting at the school. We're right there and to get that this morning, it just makes me go back to we can't get it done fast enough. We just can't do it fast enough. And we were all set this afternoon to speak with the district's student services director about this new task force. But understandably, at the last minute, she was called away to lend support to the family involved in this incident. Meanwhile, the district calls this a deeply troubling time for the entire community and encourages all teens and their families to seek help if needed and to please attend Monday's meeting here at 6 o'clock. Reporting live in Lake County, Angela Jacobs, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.